Sport Racing Attack here this weekend. Alongside his teammate from Turkey, this is Cem Bolokbashi. Hasn't really had the pace this weekend. Starts out of Group 10. Yeah, would be a bit too much, but they look good to me, mate. All right. Alongside Brad Benavides, Natsim Artsman out of seven, alongside Josh Mason, Casper Stevenson, and Chim Bolik Bashi, the Ben Emmersford racing drivers on the fifth row of the grid. Enzo Shanti is alongside Philip Kaminias on the sixth row of the 2021 Euro Formula Open Championship. We wait for the green flag at the back of the grid. The five red lights for the first time this weekend here at Monza. We race. Super start from Foster on the outside of the green. Enzo rockets down the mid. The inside tries to take the lead away from both the American and English driver. He's made contact with Christian Mansell on the outside. The Italian and the Australian, they touch and we've got carnage in the first corner. One, two, three, four cars have gone around. Almost certainly this will bring out... I won't finish that sentence because most of the field have managed to escape through. It's a messy start here at Monza. Louis Foster turned around and he's beached it. That's the banana curves and that means the rear wheels can't get traction. Josh Mason makes a great move down Brad Benavides and that misses the corner entirely. He's going to come home from there and he's going to have to give that place back if Brad doesn't slipstream past on the exit. All the positions are jostling around. I think no one really knows what they're supposed to be doing because so many of them did cut that first corner. This is a very messy start to race one here. We can tell you Francesco Simonazzi has not yet made the start. BBM Racing are working furiously down in mid lane to try and get him into the race. As we look at him, we saw Louis Foster beached on the curbs and one of the cars further back in the pack with damage to the front wing. So Das in the lead, Christian up into second place and the American Brad Benavides has escaped the carnage. As we've got another car going straight ahead in the gravel. Had a loose wing a few moments ago. That is pressure to Jerus. Yes, so here's the position that I think Simonazzi has now got on track. As finally. Yeah, it's complete the first two sectors. Foster completely beached there. We actually saw that happen with Cameron Das in free practice. Yes. Yeah. So behind, we watched the Australian who actually made contact with Enzo Trulli. He had nowhere to go. He had Jerus on the inside. He had Mansell on the outside. Oh, wow. Jerus smack into the back of Louis Foster. This was not Lewis's fault at all. That, yeah, so it looked like he had contact from the left-hand side, then he's locked up that front right entirely. Not even tried turning, because obviously going to flat spot it further if you try and do that. And just clouds up Louis Foster out the race, and you see Louis slowly reversing, and the car stops just on the kerb. That is incredibly unlucky, and yet my front left puncher, friends with Trudy. So very impressive that he actually managed to complete the lap. There is the tyre going off on its own, so Saving trap limit. So the safety car pulls into pit lane. The green flag flies, and once again we raise Das from Mansell. Brad Benavides in P3. Get back to Enzo Trulli in a moment. Obviously, they're going for fastest lap. As Enzo Shanti and Nicholas Pino make their way down. The Drivex team drivers have made a great restart here. Mansell tries the inside but cautiously backs out of it. The Australian in second place, the Americans, they run 1-3, it is Das, Mansell, Brad Benavides, Philip Kaminias, what a start from the pole. Up into position four in car 88, ahead of Josh Mason and Cem Bolibashi, so Philip Kaminias, he avoided the carnage off the start, the pole in position four. Fantastic start from car 88 for Crypto Tower Racing. As that's been going through, Nicholas Pinol, and great to see in the background, car 84, BVM Racing back in Euro Formula Open with the Italian Francesco Simonazzi. So Das, Mansell and Brad Benavides, they run one, two, three. A lock up from the first of the BAR cars. Just Cameron Das, Das is fighting for the title. And I'm sure Timo Rothkart, the team principal, wouldn't want them fighting too much in this race because there is a championship on the line. We've just seen Enzo Trulli come out of the pit, so he's going to join this line of cars. Brad Benavides defending third place there from Philippe Caminias. They are both chasing their first podium at this level of single-seater racing. Chen Bollock passing behind them now. You see Enzo Trulli. Away with that in the sink, and he's for Enzo Shanti. As now we see the VAR car 74 of Chen Bollock Bashi go up the inside and move by the pole. Philip Caminias, nice pass by Chen Bollock Bashi. Tries to get him on the way back, does Caminias. Who locks up and goes straight ahead. We'll see where he comes. 
comes out. And it's behind Ooh, the second of the Crypto Tower car, so he has lost the position this morning, and he is currently on course for two points. Going back to Chambolic Massa, there's their VAR pin wall. They've got two cars in this race, because obviously Rafael Villagomez is currently in Russia, uh, hopefully doing FIA Formula 3, but with the rain over there, we're not quite sure. Uh, back to Frank Cameron, Das, eight tenths of seconds. He is back of the Londoner. So it's Das, Mansell, Brad Benavides, still on the podium at the moment, car 71. Here's the driver from Florida in the United States of America, Casper Stevenson, car 25, on your screen. Just ahead of Francesco Simonazzi in the background. It's Philip Caminias, Australian Otto. Incidentally, down the straight last time, Casper Stevenson has just clocked 273 kilometres an hour. That is frighteningly quick as Das closes the door on Mansell, who is swarming all over the back of the championship leader. Incredibly quick here at Monza. You can see a bit of tyre degradation on the front uh, front tyres of Cameron Das, and he's looking in his mirrors now. Mansell behind, just a little strips of rubber going round it, so that's showing the deck. So temperatures aren't too high here, so that's you know helping the drivers. And Mansell's going to look into the second chicane. He's picked the outside line. It looks like he's got a nose ahead, but Das defends very hard, maintains the lead here. You know he's got a big advantage. Over this is camera Das knows he's vulnerable. Stays to his right, to your left, as Christian Mansell darts out, and Cameron Das locks up big time. Did incredibly well to hold off Christian Mansell sideways under acceleration on the exit. The Australian versus the American here in race one. Well, the lead is about to become a five-car fight. Das with Mansell all over the back of him. Brad Benavides is dragging himself into this battle for the lead as well. There is Bolik Bashi in position four, and Nazi Matsman looks good again here this afternoon in position five. Down through the Ascari chicane, you can see the rubber being painted onto the circuit as they accelerate. Cameron Das tries to break the toe, but effectively gives it to the four cars behind him. Christian Mansell stays glued to the back of the American. He checks his mirrors because he's got another American behind him. Into the Alvareto Parabolica. As we approach half race distance, race one, the 2021 Euro Formula Open Championship. The penultimate round here at Monza. Mansell right, right tucked under the rear wing of Cameron Das. The championship leader trying to fight off the Australian. There is Bolik Bashi who gets the toe from Brad Benavides. They fan out down into turn one. Again, Mansell on the outside. Cameron Das in the middle of the circuit. And that fight for the lead now becomes a four-car battle for position one. Make that fight because Atzman is dragging himself to the back of the Turk. Jim Bolik Bashi. Cam da Cameron Das driving as hard as he possibly can. In the middle of the circuit into the second chicane, goes right down the left side of the track. Mansell darts down the inside. What a move by Christian. Can he take him? The Australian now with two Americans behind him. Christian Mansell from the land down under now leads here in the north of Italy. What a move by Mansell. Absolutely brilliant. The car went off in the background because a lot of dust was kicked up. Uh, Manza went into where basically the ungrippy part of the circuit. The car slid out behind him in the background. That's uh, Christian's family there, all the way from Australia. Chambolik Bassi, that is, he is with one of, so I think he's just got past. Yeah, so he is in third place, past Brad Benavides, but Nazim Asmund right on their tail now as well. Christian Mansell is leading the way here. You can see at the back, Casper Stevenson really defending from Philippe Caminiars. Brad Benavides now under pressure from Nazem Asman. He's going to take the outside line into Parabolica. He gets the move done before they start the turn. So our top five cars covered by 1.3 seconds at the previous sector as they finish this lap. I imagine it's going to be even closer. So now it's Mansell's job to defend as Brad Benavides has gone from position three back off the podium at Nazi Matsman. He's now into fourth place. Mansell on the inside, it is so much easier to chase than it is to lead. That was a super pass from Christian Mansell, but he goes wide. He'll be vulnerable on the exit. Chambolik Bashi will spin from the Turk under acceleration, this five car fight. Cameron Das up the inside, will he take him? He'll be on the inside through Corfa Grande, but in the second chicane, he'll be on the outside. This one lap ago right here was where Kramer, uh, Christian Mansell took the lead. Cameron's gone by. Back into P1, the American. Back into position one, the championship leader. How good is this? Half race distance, race one. Euro Formula Open 2021. It is Das Mansell. Still be in the race. Let's hope there's not damage. 
to car 18. Look at this, down into the second chicane. Mansell was trying Daz and in the background, WRC style here at Monza. Mansell driving as hard as he possibly can in car 52 for Team Moto Park. Closes up as they go into the Alberetto Parabolica for the final time. Cameron Das just takes the traditional line. There is Cembalik Bashi. He will finish in P3 on the podium. Mansell second at Monza, but that checkered flag is about to wave all the way from the USA. Cameron Das takes another fantastic win here in Euro Formula. His sixth of the 2021 championship. Apart from watching a few YouTube videos, as we look at the results, Cameron Das takes his sixth victory of 2021. Mansell second at Monza. And Chambolo Bashi, his fifth podium of the 2021 championship. Good strength. <laughs> yeah, mate. Christian Mansell comes home second. Chambolo Bashi, that's Richard to the left that we saw just before the start of the race. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Hey, I've got to see you got to run. on the podium here this afternoon in race one is the driver from Istanbul for Ben Emerson Racing. Second. Fifth podium of 2021 as well as the race win. Chembolik Bashi in third place. Christian Mansell in position two. And once again, the driver from the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, Cameron Das, takes victory in Euro Formula Open to extend his lead in the championship. I've got five races to round out the 2021 championship. Two here this weekend at Monza and the season final at Barcelona in one month from now. Cameron Das picks up maximum points on a perfect day here in the north of Italy. Thanks for your company. We will be back with race two tomorrow at 10 minutes to 10 local time. Euro Formula Open Championship from Monza. We'll see you then.